Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Leos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today, Leos. I hope you all are having a great day. I know that you are because that's the intention you set when you got up today, right? That you were going to have a fabulous day <laughs> to all of my Leos. Listen, what do we know about our Leos besides the fact that they are just some exuberant, wonderful, fantastic people, right? We all know that. You know, we know when a Leo steps in the room, what's going on? whole room is brightened, right? Who are some Leos that we know? Madonna's a Leo. Whitney Houston is a Leo. Barack Obama is a Leo. J.K. Rowling is a Leo. Um, who else? Who else? You are a Leo. <laughs> Jennifer, who did I say? Jennifer Lawrence. Um, Demi Lovato is a Leo. I mean, so many fantastic Leos. So, and what I'm trying to tell you, Leos, is never dim your light right? And I don't think I have to tell a Leo that because you all are shining bright no matter what, right? You walk into a room, everybody's like, who is that? Nine times out of out of 10 of people are asking, it's a Leo. <laughs> all right. You are of divine masculine uh, duality. So it doesn't matter if you identify as a man or a woman, you are of divine masculine duality. And so what that means in short is that you're a giver, okay? Your energy is directed outward like a straight line, so you show your strength through your actions, Leo. Let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Leos as it relates to all areas of their lives, specifically in areas of money and wealth, also in areas of power and intellect, also in areas of creativity and emotions, and also in areas of... Yes also in areas of power and intellect what information do we have for my wonderful leos also leos i want to tell you listen i need you all to really protect your energy like really really protect your energy because uh, i know that you all are very positive people but mm, you all have people around you who just don't understand you know who just don't understand they don't understand what happens when their planets go retrograde you know why they're acting the way that they're acting and so um you just have a lot of just a lot of a lot of things going on um i'm also look at this i want i want to show you these cards let's pick up all these cards so you can see them we have the seven of swords mm, mm, mm. we have the seven of wands we have the nine of pentacles hopefully you all can see the. if you can't let me see make sure you can see the writing on the cards um hopefully my camera is focusing we have the six of swords see this person mm -hmm. we have the queen of pentacles yes you all are just like some really really compassionate people you deeply care about people and then we have the two of wands right so for those of you who are fellow tarot card readers you know exactly what this spread means <laughs> before i even get started you know exactly what it means you're like yep mm -hmm, yep yep and yep so listen, so some of you also found out some secrets about some people, right? That was just undeniable. One thing about Leos is that you all are highly spiritual people, right? So your intuition is always really, really strong. Only time you all get upset is when you go against your intuition, when you already know that something's up with somebody, even if they haven't exposed it themselves, you already know that something is just not right, right? And so it doesn't take a Leo long to say, you know what? secret found i'm out okay secret exposed i'm out right and so it's not always when you when i talk about relationships leos i just want to make sure we're crystal clear i'm not always talking about um romantic you know love romantic relationships it could be a working relationship it could be a family relationship whatever but this is what you all decided to do to stand your ground go into meditation mode this is the seven of wands this is how you gained an advantage through your meditation and prayer. You didn't have to go off on the person. You didn't have to say a thing. And look at this. As a result, as a result, great karma, many prospects. Some of you all would be traveling. Some of you all would just be doing so much better than you did before as a result of just severing ties with that relationship. Again, relationship is not always is not always a romantic love relationship. It could be a love platonic. It could be a professional relationship, whatever. You all, like I said, are very, very compassionate, right? People see you as being um, earth mother. Very compassionate towards people in general, right? And so that's why people really, really like being around Leos because even though Leos are exuberant, that's what people are known, you know, people know Leos for being very, very exuberant. 
living the great life, you know, not the good life, but the great life, right? You all deeply care about people. You're genuinely, you generally, generally care of genuinely and generally care about people, right? So you're investing in yourself and it's paying off handsomely, right? I just want to, mm, wow. That's why I say before I even pull these cards, make sure you protect yourselves, Leos. I mean, just make, make sure you protect your energy, protect your space, because there are people around you who sometimes don't have your best interest at heart. And when I talk about Leos in particular, and I'm talking about um, characteristics of a high vibrating Leo, what I mean when I talk about that is somebody who is caring, someone who loves, who lives, who says, I live a good life, someone who is optimistic, someone who's a natural leader, someone who is kind and protective, loyal, honest, vivacious, attention seeking, but in a good way, okay? Because when I say attention seeking, I really, really have to explain what I mean by that. Because they are the sun in astrology, they're going to shine no matter what. Like, think of it this way. When you go outside and the sun is up, no matter where you go, there's light. <laughs> That's the Leo, really. And the sun is a star. So they don't really have to do a whole lot to shine, right? So Leos are also, when you're talking about high vibrating Leos, Leos are creative, they're passionate, they're generous, they're warm hearted, cheerful, and again, humorous. I think I said humorous before, but I, um, but yes, they are a lot of fun to be around. They're like really, really just like a lot of fun to be around. So um, when Leos, when you start to feel like... Um, if you are accused of being arrogant or inflexible or even lazy, dogmatic and prideful, domineering, jealous or competitive, you really, really got to check the energies around you. Um, sometimes you have people around you that's contaminating your space because they don't understand their power, right? So they're trying to, it's kind of like um, being around a person who sees that you are kind of like the star in the room without having to do a whole lot. And they're trying to compete with you because they don't know how to stand in their own power. You know what I mean, Leo? Um, and here you are just in your lane, just being a Leo, just shining bright, you know, doing your thing. And here they come trying to compete, but it doesn't, they don't wear the light the same way that you do because yours comes from inside and they're trying to actually wear it on the outside when it's not, they don't recognize, they don't realize how to shine from the, or be illuminated from the inside out. If you get what I mean, Leo. Let's see what the second set of cards have to say. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Some of you all, like I said, <clears throat> when I talk about relationships, I'm not always talking about romantic relationships, right? This is how you all end up victorious regardless, right? So this is the six of wands. You all end up victorious. So let's put this right here. When you're, when you know that you're protected, you don't need to be guarded. You really, really don't. Um, because when you're guarded like this, you're also blocking out your blessings. So you can't even see the blessings around you. So what this does right here is create feelings of distrust of everybody around you, even the good people who really, really mean you well, because you can't see anything, right? So remove the blindfolds so that you can see everything around you. Just start trusting your intuition because your intuition will tell you exactly who is who, right? This was a situation that you were just completely over. You were just done like and you gave it a lot of long, you know, hard thoughts, um, but you were just kind of sort of over it. Right. You had deep feelings for this person. It could have been a love relationship or it could have been a um, person that you. OK, when I say love relationship, I'm not always talking about romantic. I need to be crystal clear about this because it's not always assumed that when I say love relationship, we're talking about a deep romance. Right. Sometimes it is, but sometimes it could be a family member that you love. It could be a friend, a best friend that you love. It could be a colleague that you love and have a high level of respect for. But nevertheless, you gave it a long thought before you decided to just say, you know what, I'm done, right? You know what, I'm done. You know, um, and sometimes it's, it's best. Like I said, one thing for certain is that when these planets go retrograde, a lot of things about a lot of people are exposed. <laughs> okay, Ten of Pentacles. You, your focus right now is on creating generational wealth. And so you cannot afford to have people standing in your way with their secrets and manipulation and lies and games and so on and so forth. Your, this is the high priestess, your intuition, like I said, is heightened like never before. You're seeing right through people. You're really paying attention to your intuition. 
you're not even second guessing it anymore right let me see if i get closer here the high priestess card yes you're not even second guessing it anymore right and so you are really really developing your spiritual talents right you know that you're a healer you know that you're a divine goddess you know, a lot of you all are, your visions are coming through in through dreams um, at night. Um, you know, some people have daydreams. You're having these night dreams where you're actually, things are starting to come to you at night. And the, again, this is the high priestess energy. But yeah, so you're developing your talent, your, your spiritual talents, right? Um, any secrets that were revealed, they came through you, they came to you um, at night. You're starting to really, really tap into your intuition. You're really starting to see beyond what's really what's obvious. You're really developing your talents. You're just remembering things of significance. You know how like um, sometimes when you're just busy, busy, busy on the go, just trying to get things taken care of. Now you're just like, hold on, don't hold on. Things are coming back to you. You're starting to remember things that actually are starting to make sense to you. You're starting to piece some things together. And that's why during this whole process here, you decided, you know what? I gave it a lot of thought. I, I, I try to give my best, you know, because I'm a very compassionate person. Um, and it's just time for us to just part ways, right? Let's pull an Oracle card and see what, what the Oracle card has to say. Just the final thoughts on what the Oracle cards have to say. By the way, these are the Sacred Vision Oracle cards by um, Lynn Andrews. Lynn V as in Victor Andrews. I don't know if that's Lynn's middle name or not, but V as in Victor or Victorious in your case. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Beauty. Mm -hmm. You know what? Some relationships, you've had to find the beauty in everything, right? So what I'm saying, this is a friendship bundle here. You had to really, really cover all the bases in your life, right? You did see the beauty in this particular friendship. And like I said, relationship. When I talk about relationship, it's not always a romantic love relationship. It could have been a, a friend that you really, really deeply cared about and loved. Um, that that relationship really just had to fade to black. And so that you can move on, right? And we know that the number four carries its own special significance, right? We know that. We talk about that every single time. Because that number four has been coming up a lot, right? That That... That master number four. So we're talking about one plus three is four. And so um, four is about, you know, you being a divine being of light, having a human experience. That's what the number four represents when we talk about this, right? You found the beauty that you once found in that particular friendship has faded away, you know, because of a secret that was exposed. And that's entirely okay. So you have moved on. You're focusing on generational wealth. You, it has not changed. You haven't really skipped a beat. You really haven't skipped a beat. But that's what I have for you, Leos. I hope you have a fantastic day. I know that you will. Bye.